better than us. Caught my first tag fish. <laughs> What's up, Extreme River Fishers? Me, was worth it, and my wife are in Windsor, North Carolina, after the shad run. Right here in downtown Windsor. Hope you can hear me because of this wind. Uh, but like I said, we're in downtown Windsor, North Carolina. We got the Cashi River right here. You can see all the people shad fishing. Hopefully, we're gonna get some shad, and I'll be right back. Hey guys, if you pull up to a shad fishing spot and you see a lot of people standing on the bank fishing, just get out there and fish with them. It's a social thing. It's not a time to, you know, want to be, you know, be a loner. Uh, you're not going to make anybody mad if you go stand up beside them and fish, you know, right down from them. Uh, so just get out there and fish and you'll probably catch some. Cindy. Cast out there. Got one on. My first one. First one. Oh yeah. Don't come off. All right, guys. There's my first shot of the year in in Windsor. Looks like a small American. Get him back in the water. It's been a long, slow day. Alright guys, we're making a move. The shad aren't biting, so we're going to a new spot. Pete's happy. Hope we can get mommy on a shad. See how that does. He has a canoe ramp over there or something. Or a little boat ramp. Turkey's in that field right there. And here we are. Cindy got her first shad. Yep. Hold on, buddy. All right. Hold on. Okay. And the body. First of the year, first of the year. First ever. Good job, honey. First shad ever. Hey, like that. Cool, good job. Oh, I'm put them back in. Chug them head first. Like flip them. Good job. Rocky's got one. You just using a spoon, Rocky? No, I got a crappie jig and a spoon, and they keep using the spoon. Oh, he got hit the crappie jig this time. Yeah, cool. It's a good one. That's American shad. Really? Looks like it to me. His lower, his lower lip goes out past his upper lip. I think it's a hickory. Okay. I don't know. Maybe they're just big hickories. It's a big hickory. Look at his lower lip. Yeah, you're right. Chuck them back. <laughs> Could release. Yeah. That's cool. Normally shad want your lures slow and deep. Today we had to retrieve a little faster. And, um,. Definitely today was a spoon day and not a jig day on the shad. Rocky's killing it. Rocky's killing it. 
That's a nice one. That's a real nice one. Yeah, that's a nice one. Huh? Like that whip, like either the color or the size of it, something about it. Yeah, they seem to like the spoon for sure. That's a four out of five on the spoon. There it is. Fish on. Come on. Oh yeah, you got a good jump on that one. Oh, he hit the grub. Hit the grub, Pete. Pete, you want to see him? Pete. Well, Mark's probably going to be addicted to shad fishing now. <laughs> Cindy's first shad and Mark's first shad. That's a, I don't think he's big, but he's fighting good. Do you feel him shake, Mark? Yeah, he was just shaking. Oh, he threw it. That was the best fighting one I've had. Oh yeah. That's a nice one. Let's see. Maybe I can catch up the mark in a few more minutes. Mark's been killing me today. Oh God, no. He's definitely on the spoon. Definitely on the spoon. Let you go. Still trying to swim. There you go. Hey, good morning, everyone. You're watching the end of a shad video, the outro to that. Um, but I didn't have time to take the outro at the end of the shad fishing trip because it got too dark, didn't have enough light. So I just got through bass fishing, caught a nice big old seven pound bass and a four pounder a bunch of others so stay tuned for that next week uh, but thanks for watching this shad video let me tell you about today today was an odd day 95% of the time I'll tell you my blog or my videos shad hit the pink headed jigs and pink bodies white bodies or chartreuse bodies 95% of the time today was the other 5% you had to have a green spoon and if you didn't have that spoon you weren't going to catch hardly anything. Um, the first place we went was kind of slow. People were catching them every now and then on the green spoons. Um, but it was still kind of slow. But I, I got two spoons I bought off a guy. So thanks to him. Um, we heard they were biting better. A, a, a spot a little farther away. So we made a quick trip. Ran to another spot. And with those green spoons, um, we ended up catching right many. My wife got her first shad. Mark got his first shad. Aki caught a bunch. Uh, but anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Gives you some of those green spoons. I'll put a link to them or a description of them in the video description. Uh, but thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button. And I will see y'all guys next time on that bass video.